Hey guys, sorry I've been gone for so long again. I don't know if you watched the last video. It's not that relevant. It's just me ranting about something stupid that happened on the internet or in real life. Or some make-believe fairy tale that people are talking about. Now, whatever. It's tea time once again, and I'm here to talk to you about some, you know, to help you guys out with another strategy video. And the strategy video is called Don't Stop Wrestling. And I, and I know you probably looked at that and are like, I don't wrestle. I don't get it. Well, here's what I'm talking about. Um, when I say don't stop wrestling, it comes with a story, obviously. Um, when I was in high school, I wrestled. You know, I was a varsity wrestler. It's pretty good. Uh, mind you, this this and this coach would tell me one of the mottos we had was don't stop wrestling, and that doesn't mean don't stop wrestling like in the future, like when you're 50 years old. You know, you better be wrestling. No, it means if you go on the mat. And you're wrestling somebody, it doesn't matter if they're up 12 points, it doesn't matter if you're getting demolished, it doesn't matter if there's 3 seconds left. You go hard as long as you can, and you don't quit. And I took that with me and applied it to a lot of other things in life, which, you know, it's a good, it's a good me method to live by. I mean, the same, the same coach, uh, you know, helped me coach, coach me through some bodybuilding when I was doing that, helped me through a little MMA when I was doing that, and then he just called it Don't Stop Fighting. And... That's what it really should be about. Don't stop fighting. Don't stop wrestling. So, as far as that goes, how do I apply that to Yu-Gi-Oh? I'll clear it right now. Um, when you're playing a match, no matter how hopeless the situation seems, no matter if you're getting crushed, play it out. There's nothing in the rules that says you're not, that you have to scoop, unless they attack you with Victory Dragon, but there's nothing that says you have to quit. Don't quit. You know, don't lose your composure just because they made a huge play. It's not over. Um, set your last card. Draw your last card and do something. The only time it's even justifiable to scoop is if they have a huge field and you're top decking and you draw something that you simply can't even set on the field. Like, <laughs> it's insane to see what people will do. Um, people make mistakes all the time. Many times your opponent will think will overestimate you underestimate you maybe you'll draw the cards you need maybe you won't maybe they just won't attack because they're afraid of a mirror force you never know what they're going to do there's a lot of situations i've came out of that seemed absolutely horrendous like i was about to lose for sure but i turned it around by just continuing to play you know not quitting and not you i didn't even necessarily draw the draw the one outer i mean you might you might draw the one outer and that's half the reason you should draw but the other thing is even if you don't draw that card Act like you did. You know, maybe maybe you try. Just try. Actually, if you really want to fool them, don't act like you just drew your one-outer. If you drew, like, a cold wave, and they have a field of monsters, and your mom would be afraid of Mirror Force, just be like, ugh, and set it, or whatever, and see what they're gonna, you know, act like you, you were a little distraught about your card, and then they'll think that you actually drew something good and not attack. But, um, a good example of this was I was, I was watching, actually... Jeff, and me and Jeff don't usually get along, but, I mean, I respect him a lot as a player, especially after what I've seen him do. Um, it was at a semi-local tournament. He was playing someone I've never seen before, who made an incredible play that cleared his field of Starlight, Star, Suiting Star Dragon, and all kinds of stuff with a Bryonic. And Jeff was down to, um, a Raikou on the field, and two cards in hand. One was, an, was, one was a Caius, and one was like a Duality or something ridiculous. He was about to lose. His opponent has Bryonic on the field, Quick Draw on the field, just attacking for extra damage, four back rows, and a card in hand. And I think to myself, wow, like, that's just unbelievable. He's just going to bounce, attack, bounce, attack. And what happened was, uh, his opponent was thinking about pitching with Bryonic, and as he went to do that, Jeff took the card and card, took a Kai's in his hand and went, like, he was about to activate Effect Veiler. Now, whether Effect Veiler was relevant or not in that situation, it really wasn't. Because even if he Effect Veiler, he'd take the minus, attack over it, he'd lose the Bryonic, but, you know, the situation was still the same. Uh, it wasn't going to hurt him anything if he didn't. So instead, he just attacked. And I, I was thinking to myself, well, why? Why would he do that? But he bluffed him with the, with the Caius, you know? And that won in the game. That won in the match. That kind of stuff, you know, don't quit just because you think you're about to lose. You still have ways to win. You know, your opponent might botch up. Your opponent, you know, might screw up. You might draw something really good. Or maybe you can just convince them that you have the nuts. So, in which case, in this, don't stop wrestling.
I mean, and that's not just something I could say to apply to Yu-Gi-Oh. This is a life lesson. Use that for anything. You know, even if you think you're doing bad in school or whatever, you know, show up to the final. Do what you gotta do. If you think you're gonna fail the test, show up to the final. Maybe you'll do really well and the professor will see that and not want to fail you. Maybe there's a last minute curve that you don't know about and maybe, you know, this or that. You know, don't give up on things. It's not... Stop it coming. But, it, you know, sometimes hopeless situations are really those that are going to benefit you most. So, on that note, I know this wasn't a really good strategy video, but hopefully you can... You like that. See you guys.